now let us see the next question sir question number 39 now from this particular problem from question number 39 we will see some new patterns new varieties of problems we will discuss from right now from 2015 till 2017 that means in the year 2015 2016 and 2017 all these three years the questions came from this particular pattern i will teach you multiple methods you can decide upon which method is comfortable for you now listen to this carefully sir your question is if p square minus 23 p plus 43 equal to 0 then p minus 2 plus 1 divided by p minus 2 is how much now i will teach you multiple methods i will teach you method 1 i will also teach you method 2 whichever the method you feel that it is comfortable for you you can pick up that particular method now see here sir question says p minus 2 plus 1 divided by p minus 2 we need to find so what i will do is this particular p minus 2 whatever is given in the question or asked in the question i will call it as some variable for example x right i will call it as x so if i call that as x then this entire then part whatever they are asking you in the question that becomes x plus 1 by x is equal to question mark right x plus 1 by x is equal to question mark now if i say p minus 2 as x then from this i can also say that p is equal to x plus 2 right p is equal to x plus 2 now if i further simplify if i simplify further in this particular quadratic equation this quadratic equation becomes p value is x plus 2 p square value is x plus 2 whole square i will not write it everything in detail i will just expand as it is x plus 2 whole square is x square plus 4 plus 4x right plus 4x minus 23 into x plus 2 that means it is minus 23x minus 46 minus 46 plus 43 equal to 0 i will write it as it is right i will write that term as it is now if i further simplify this becomes this becomes x square plus x square plus 4x minus 23x is minus 19x and similarly 4 plus 43 is 47 47 minus 46 is it is plus 1 equal to 0 now can i say that if this particular quadratic equation is given if the quadratic equation is x square minus 19x plus 1 equal to 0 then we already know from our previous problem that we can easily find the value of x plus 1 by x x plus 1 by x first of all why will plus sign come in between because the constant is having plus sign right constant is having plus sign and right hand side this minus 19 whatever is present here in the middle term shift it to the right hand side it becomes plus 19 so x plus 1 by x is equal to 19 and this is what they are asking you in the question also that means answer for this question is how much answer for this question is 19 now this is one of the way of solving it you can implement this method this is also a very good method very faster method also you can implement this method there is no harm in solving by using method one in this problem but having said that i will also teach you method two and finally it is up to you people it is completely up to the individual to decide upon which method is comfortable for you right now see here sir first of all what is the equation that is given equation that is given is p square minus 23 p plus 43 equal to zero let me write it p square minus 23 p plus 43 equal to 0 this is the given part what is the asked part in the question p minus 2 plus 1 by p minus 2 is equal to how much p minus 2 plus 1 divided by p minus 2 this is equal to how much this is what they are asking now observe carefully sir one thing which you should immediately realize from this given given data and the asked data is the asked data has something called as p minus 2 that means this particular equation i should somehow express this particular equation in terms of p minus 2 why should i express it in terms of p minus 2 because p minus 2 is something which i need to find out according to the question that means can i say that i can express this as 
p square minus 2p minus 21p like that i will write it why did i write it as 2p minus 21p because if i take p common factor in the first two terms it becomes p into p minus 2 i am very much interested in getting this term called as p minus 2 yes i am getting it here similarly remaining part minus 21p i will write it and from this remaining part Again, I should get P minus 2 common factor. That means, uh, can I say that uh, instead of writing directly as plus 43, I will write it as 42 because uh, from these two terms, uh, if I take out minus 21 common factor, I will again be left with P minus 2 inside the bracket. But I have 43 in the given equation. I have written 42 as of now. That extra 1, I will just add it and equal and I will equate it to 0. I hope you are understanding, sir. Right? I hope you are understanding the logic. That means, my question says I should have this term called as P minus 2. I will try whatever it is required in my given equation to make it in the form of p minus 2 simple now can i say that this p minus 2 is there here here also p minus 2 is there i can take that p minus 2 common factor right i can pay, take that p minus 2 common factor or in other simple language divide both sides by p minus 2 right divide both numerators or not numerator divide both left hand side and right hand side by p minus 2 if i divide both sides by p minus 2 observe carefully p into p minus 2 divided by p minus 2 i will be left with only p minus 21 into p minus 2 divided by p minus 2 i will be left with minus 21 plus 1 divided by p minus 2 i will write it as it is this is equal to 0 by p minus 2 that is nothing but 0 now if you observe carefully here in the question in the question what they are asking you is in the question they are asking you 1 divided by p minus 2 term should be there yes here also i have 1 divided by p minus 2 i am very happy that the same term is also present in my question but another term which should be present in the question is p minus 2 they also want this particular p minus 2 to also be present in the equation but can i say that i do not have p minus 2 here but i have p minus 21 because i do not have p minus 2 i will subtract by 2 here similarly if i subtract by 2 on the left hand side i should also subtract by 2 on the right hand side also i hope you are understanding that means this p minus 2 i require according to the question 1 divided by p 1 divided by p minus 2 also i required according to the question this minus 21 i will shift it to the right hand side it become plus 21 21 minus 2 answer for this question will be 19 either apply method 1 or apply method 2 you will finally end up with the same answer called as 19 and that is what the answer is for question number 29 i hope the idea is very very clear for every student who is listening to this particular video do not worry sir i will take another two to three similar kind of question i told you that this is a different variety of questions what we are discussing right now from question number 39 and we will see how best we can understand this particular model by using method one and also by method two in the next two or three problems so that you will not have any doubts when i solve the next two or three problems i hope as of now question number 39 is very very clear see here Question number 40 exactly similar to question number 39 exactly similar why am i taking one more time for your better understanding once again in this particular question also let me solve by both methods method one and method two again it is your decision to pick up the method which you are comfortable now see here sir your question is if m square plus 2m is equal to 34 then find the value of m plus 7 whole square plus 1 by m plus 7 whole square now one of the way of see here in this question also in this question also 
what is that we are getting here we are getting the answer as 19 right we are getting the answer as 19 now come back to question number 40 if you observe question number 40 m plus 7 whole square plus 1 by m plus 7 whole square this is of the form x square plus 1 by x square right x square plus 1 by x square x square plus 1 by x square will always be of the form k square minus 2 that means uh, answer should be of the form k square minus 2 that means uh, either 167 should be the correct answer or 142 should be the correct answer because 167 is 169 minus 2 which is a perfect square minus 2 144 is 144 minus 2 is nothing but 142 which is once again perfect square minus 2 now I have two options answer options A and D can definitely be eliminated without even thinking twice also now I have two options I don't know which is the right answer that is the reason I will move on to the different methodology if I have only one option I don't even have to scratch my head I would have already completed this particular question in my examination I would have saved a lot of time by doing this kind of methodology but unfortunately in this question I have two options so I will move on to the next method that is nothing but what I named as of now as method one now see here sir what I will do is same like the 39th question I will put this m plus 7 I will put this m plus 7 as some variable x so if I put m plus 7 as x the question becomes x square plus 1 by x square this is what I need to find from this I can also write it as m is equal to x minus 7 substitute in this particular equation this equation becomes m square is x minus 7 whole square that means x square plus 7 square minus 2 into m into 2 into what is that x minus 7 whole square right 2 into x into 7 that means it is 14x plus 2 times of x minus 7 so it is 2x minus 14 and shift this 34 in the right hand side to the left hand side it becomes minus 34 now further if I simplify it becomes x square minus 14x plus 2x is it is minus 12x and minus 14 minus 34 is minus 48 plus 49 it is equal to 1 right it, it is nothing but 1 so it is plus 1 so my quadratic equation now is x square minus 12x plus 1 equal to 0 and I am sure that you know how to find if I know the quadratic equation directly I can find the value of x plus 1 by x as because of the coefficient of x square is 1 here and because of the constant it also constant is also 1 here this minus 12 is shifted to the right hand side it becomes plus 12 we know the value of x plus 1 by x but in the question they are not asking you x plus 1 by x value they are asking you x square plus 1 by x square value. So x square plus 1 by x square is 12 square minus 2. It is 144 minus 2. Answer for this question is 144 minus 2 is nothing but how much? It is nothing but 142. So answer for this question is how much? It is nothing but 142. So 142 should be the right answer for this question. So definitely, definitely 167 is not the right answer because we have solved it in detail in this particular method. Now, this is one of the method by converting m in terms of some other variable x. Now, method 2 method 2 let me write those equations and let me also write what is being asked in the question the e given equation is the given equation is m square plus 2m is equal to 34 right is equal to 34 or i can write it as minus 34 is equal to 0 but the question is whatever they are asking is m plus 7 whole square plus 1 divided by m plus 7 whole square this value they are asking you in the question now see here sir because because the question is asking you for m plus 7 because the question demands you to get this particular term called as m plus 7 what i will do is this 2m i will write it as 
2m i will write it as 7m minus 5m how will you come to know that you should write it as 7m minus 5m because question demands m plus 7 and in the first two terms if i take m common factor it will become m plus 7 inside the bracket suppose for example i am just taking a small example if the question is m plus 6 whole square then this 2m should be written as 6m minus 4m. I hope you are understanding. Then I will get inside the bracket as m plus 6. So depending on what is asked in the question, I will also change it accordingly. Now, 7m minus 5m is 2m. This minus 34 equal to 0, I will write it as it is. Now, similarly in the next two terms, if I take minus 5 common factor, then and I will also write it as m plus 7. This becomes minus 5 into m is minus 5m, minus 5 into 7 is minus 35, but the question has minus 34. So add 1, minus 35 plus 1 is minus 34. Now, same like my previous example, question number 39, whatever I have solved, same like that, I can say that I will divide both sides by m plus 7. If I divide both sides by m plus 7, this term will go off, this term will also go off. It will be m minus 5 plus 1 divided by m plus 7 equal to 0. But I know this particular, I want this particular term as 1 by m plus 7. But at the same time, I also want another term called as m plus 7. I will add 7 on the left hand side. If I add 7 on the left hand side, on the right hand side also I should add 7. I should add 7 on the right hand side also. Now, this particular term is m plus 7. <coughs> And the another term, this particular term is 1 divided by m plus 7 and right hand side I have 7 and this minus 5 on the left hand side will come to the right hand side, it becomes plus 5, 7 plus 5 is 12. Now, can I say that if... If m plus 7 plus 1 by m plus 7 is equal to 12, then it implies that m plus 7 whole square plus 1 by m plus 7 whole square will be k square minus 2. 12 square minus 2, answer is nothing but 142. Either apply method 1 or apply method 2 or even the beautiful method is you know that x square plus 1 by x square will be of the form k square minus 2. Just go ahead with answer options. If only one option is satisfying, you are the luckiest person on that particular problem on that examination day. But because two options were satisfying in this particular question, I also wanted to teach you two more extra methods. I hope method 1 and method 2 are very very clear for every student who is listening to this particular session.